when God had to give us dominion. Now I'm showing you because after speaking about all dominion, you must be thinking, so should I change my name? <laughs> because you're like, my name is done nothing so far. Wait, hold on. When God had to deal with the enemy and deal with this world, he sent his son. His son came. Can you read Philippians 2, 5? Philippians 2, 5. Hmm. says, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Who being in the form of God, did not consider it robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a bond servant and coming in the likeness of men. And being found in the appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death. Even the death of even the death of the cross. Therefore, God has God also has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every name. That at the name of Jesus every knee shall knee, every knee should bow, and of those in heaven, and of those on earth, and of those under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord to the glory of God the Father. So when God had to give, when God had to give all authority and power to his son, he had to give him a name that is above every other name. Did you see that? So even when God had to give Jesus this name, he had to change his name. That means Jesus' name was different before. He was called the Word. Now he's got a name even above that. So I'm showing you in the Word of God. Now because Jesus has got a name that is above every other name, guess what God did? He said, now I give you that name. Now my church use that name because in that name there is already dominion you don't have to change your name now unless god specifically comes and tells you which i doubt but you don't have to because now you got the name which is above every other name and god says when you use that name everything in heaven everything under the earth will bow its knee and confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Can you see how grace works? God had to put all his workings into his son, humble him, make him obedient, make him in the form of flesh, put all our sin upon him, crucify him, make his blood wash away all our sin and then give him a name and then Look at your God. He takes that name and he says, My children, use my name. Ish, somebody thank God. What a God you serve. What a God I serve. Brothers and sisters from today, no matter what demon comes to you, you got dominion that is in heaven, acknowledged that is on earth and even under the earth. You can never ever come to me saying that a demon is not leaving you. Just use the name with this understanding that when God had, I already showed you how dominion works, right? I proved it to you. The reason all your friends in the United States are dying is because they have categorized every sickness with a name. So now you die by that. Do you know why Indians don't die? Because half of them don't know science. Praise God. And the other half can't even read the name what they have made. But if you go to US, it is so well catalogued, diagnosed, that you just enter and you sneeze, they'll give you five prescriptions. But here you sneeze, you'll get one rap and say, do your work. <laughs> say, thank you, God. Thank you, God, that we are illiterate in the things of wrong naming. I want to tell you, healing is your name. 
Blessing is the name on your life. Prosperity is your DNA. Conquering spirit is your spirit. Subduing power is with you. You are God's son endued with his name sent on earth so that when you speak the earth that God created will respond to a son because it sees no difference between the God who made you in his image and his likeness. It looks at it and says this is God. Child of God, get ready to speak to your plants, speak to the animals, speak to the fish, speak to the... Do you know? Do you know why God sends ravens? I finally understood this yesterday. It's not what you're thinking. Do you know that animals know where the best meat is stored? You don't. They know. Because animals have an aerial view of the slaughterhouse. They, they are looking where they are actually cutting and they can pick up the most freshest piece and bring it to you. Listen, when I realize this. You have tried this many times, it's not work. Now you try it because now understanding has come to your spirit. Now you know there's a name. Now you know that when you're praying, you're, you know, most of us, when we pray what we're thinking, it, it's, it didn't work because I did something wrong. Brother, this is what we did wrong. We never understood how dominion works. Dominion works with an understanding when you understand how dominion went into a name. Everything on earth has a name. Cancer, diabetes, heart problem, eye problem. But God has given us a name that is above every other name. And at the name of Jesus, every sickness is going to get out and run. It shall never touch your family. As long as, you can say this, as long as I'm around, my house shall be a habitation of God. You have the power of life and death in your town. I want you to believe that dominion is in you. I want you to believe that you have the likeness and the image of God and that dominion has been given to you. This is so important what I'm teaching you. Do you know how important it is? Do you know that God, when he created Adam and Eve, he destroyed the whole earth. You know that, right? With the big flood. He destroyed everything. This, what I'm teaching you, is so important that the minute Noah came out of the ark, God repeated it again. Read it in your Bible. It is so important. Can you imagine? If God wipes the slate of this whole earth, he's going to come back and repeat the same thing again. And if we don't pay attention, can you find that scripture? You can, re you can read from chapter 9, verse 1. Okay. It says, so God blessed Noah and his sons and said to them, be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and fear of and the fear of you and the dread of you shall be on every beast of the earth, on every bird of the air and all and all that moves on the earth and on all the fish of the sea. They are given into your hand. Every moving thing that lives shall be food for you. I have given you all things, even as the green herbs, but you shall not eat flesh. Did you get it? Did you get this? Hmm. God is restoring dominion once again because he spoke it to whom first? Adam. Adam. Now he's wiped off the whole earth. So he comes back only to tell him the same thing. God blessed Noah and he said, be fruitful, multiply. Same command. Replenish the earth. And the fear of you and the dread of you shall be on what? Every beast. This is dominion. This is dominion. He's saying on every bird, air that moves on earth, on the fish, on the sea, they are all given into your hand. This is why I believe when God gives dominion, there are various. So I only taught you on one part today. Do you know that there is dominion for land, dominion for destinies? Today, what I taught you is dominion for destinies. Your destiny is changed in Jesus' mighty name. Can somebody rejoice in that? What I taught you today is how your destiny is changed. 
through a name change but what i will teach you in the days to come is how you get dominion over nations dominion over land dominion at success at work dominion over spirits all this dominion god has given us is he a good god or no i believe god is giving us this because we are going to see unbelievable miracles get ready church a double edged sword in your mouth and praises of god in your mouth i want you to start decreeing blessing one another with what you want i am talking about impossible situations things that you have given up on open your mouth and say it it's going to happen only realize this one thing don't come crying to me if after you start doing it that person becomes bad that's the normal process before good the enemy will show you it's not working but i have already proved it to you so you will have to decide should i believe the word or should i believe my experience i have shown you example after example how without a name change dominion doesn't come that's why even at your workplace if there's any project have you realized they name it first if there's any project at work they name it first and this is how the devil gets his agenda he's also operating by this principle when the sickness comes he makes sure they label it name it diagnose it and then they spread fear that's why children of god are dying with heart attacks cancers brain problem blood pr- no 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 we declare a new name over our life Jehovah Rapha God my healer God has given us a name Jehovah Nissi his banner over my life Jehovah Sidkenu my righteousness oh take that name and say i got a name on my life Jehovah Rapha la bro seket Jehovah Jaira is my provider in Jesus mighty name may you enter a season of miracles miracles where even the worst case scenario shall be turned there shall be peace within your walls get up and say my house is a house of peace my house no wild thing shall ever come in get up and say my husband is a mighty man of god i'm giving you this general one but if god is giving you a more explicit one and it's from the word of god and you're feeling god is telling you that declare it because you know him more and same way if you have a wife declare it it shall come to pass